up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to be going over something that I would say is one of the most highly requested things I personally get, and I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers and content creators get, and that is base reviews or our opinions on your base. Um, now, there are a lot of fundamentals that go into design that you'll see implemented all throughout my bases and throughout a lot of other uh, YouTubers and top players' bases. Um, and today I'm going to go over those with you. I'm going to go over what I view as fundamentals. Um, so, no matter what you're trying to protect, whether it is your town hall, as you can see in this base, or it's your loot, um, you definitely want to have the most important thing towards the middle of your base, protected by the most amount of defenses. So you can see my town hall is in the middle of this base and it is surrounded on all sides by all of the defenses. Next most important thing, especially if you're in an active clan, if you're not in an active clan, it's not as important, um, but your clan castle, your clan castle is one of your most uh, valuable defenses because if you're in an active clan and people donate you clan castles, uh, clan castle troops, it can completely wreck uh, the enemy's attack. So it's very, very important to keep that towards the middle of your base as well, as you can see uh, I have going on right here. <clears throat> Next, we're going to talk about some of my favorite defenses, and that is the splash defenses. Guys, splash defenses are defenses uh, that affect multiple troops at one time. So examples of that would be your wizard towers, your mortars, or your multi-target uh, Inferno Tower. So those are very, very important. Other ones could be bombs, but they aren't necessarily active defenses. They're just passive defenses that you have placed on your base. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about those. Obviously, the Wizard Towers, if you guys have watched my videos before, are my favorite defense without a doubt because they just wreck and they do a lot of damage. So you can see that I have the most important thing to me, which is my Town Hall, surrounded by uh, my Wizard Towers. You can see the two up at the top and the two up uh, down towards the bottom. And you want to make sure that they cover as much of the base as possible. Now, their range is uh, not even close to the range of their other splash damage brother, the Mortar, but um, it is still all right. So try and cover as much of the base as you can with your Wizard Towers, but also make sure that you're covering uh, the important things about your base, which is, in this case, my Town Hall. Um, next, when we go over to the Mortars, you can see uh, that they do, in fact, cover probably 90% of this base. They're missing the corners, but that's all right because you just want to make sure that they are covering the majority of the base. Um, so as you're at lower levels and whatnot, all this stuff still applies. It doesn't matter if you're Town Hall 5 or if you're Town Hall 10, guys. All these things that I'm going to talk about today are very important um, when it comes to designing your base and making sure that it is an effective base. Uh, next, we're going to talk about point defenses, guys. So like we said about splash defenses, we want to make sure that they cover the entire base um, so that you can affect the majority of troops that are attacking. So no matter what side anybody attacks from, they're going to be faced with every single kind of defense. That's, that's what's very, very important. Um, so next we have our point defenses, which are like our archer towers and our cannons. Our archer towers have one more range than our cannons do. So if you put anything back behind, you want to have the archer tower back and the cannon in front. As you can see over here, I've got an archer tower in the back and a cannon in the front. You also want to make sure that you spread them out all the way around the base so that one side isn't just protected by cannons and one side protected by archers because archer towers are air defenses and ground defenses. So it's very important to make sure that you have as much air defense coverage and ground defense coverage on all sides of your base. So you can see that I have archer, cannon, uh, and then archer, cannon, <clears throat> and then we can just continue our way around and see that we have another archer and cannon right here and then just continue working our way around archer cannon archer cannon archer cannon all the way around the base i've seen a lot of people who will just stack archers on one side and then the bottom part of the base is not defended well against air troops so that's one thing that you have to be very very cautious of when it comes to designing your base so um, we've gone over the splash defenses and how we want to make sure that they cover what we want to protect uh, whether it's our loot or our town hall. And we also want to make sure that they cover the majority of the base. Again, with the point defenses, you want to make sure that your base is covered all the way around no matter what kind of attack you face, whether it's a ground attack or whether it's an air attack. That's why you want to have archers all around the base as much as possible. Um, next, we're going to talk about our air defenses. Now, towards lower levels, there aren't that many air attacks. So if you're at a lower level, you don't have to protect your air defenses, say, as much as you do um, your archer towers or things of that sort. So it's, it really depends on what you're being attacked by the most. You can't fully protect against everything. Um, 
depending on what league you're in, you're going to get attacked by certain things. So if you're not getting attacked by that many air troops, then you can screw your air defenses out a little bit. But up here in uh, Champs or Masters, it is a little bit harder to um, deal with Lavoonian and things of that sort. So I try and protect my air defenses. You can see that uh, I have these two in the center of the base protecting the top portion, um, as well as these expos that are pointed up. So those are also air defenses, guys. And then I have these other air defenses down here in the corners. Um, now the thing about air defenses and about defenses, defenses in general is that you want to protect your defenses with your defenses. Uh, I know that sounds a little bit weird, but the longer all of your defenses stay up, the longer you protect your base and you protect what you're trying to keep safe. So as you can see right here, I have this air defense right here, and it's protected by another air defense in the form of an archer tower, and it's also protected by another air defense in the form of the inferno tower and that wizard tower. Again, I've got this air defense down here, and it is protected by the same thing. So you have to pay attention when you're laying out your defenses, like, okay, I have... Uh, air defenses that I want to protect, what could I protect air defenses with? I can't protect them with cannons or mortars because those don't shoot air troops. So when it comes to laying out your base, <clears throat> especially when you're trying to focus on defending against a certain style of attack, you have to pay attention to that kind of stuff. So again, you want to protect your defenses with your defenses, and you also want to protect the most important thing to you, whether that's your town hall or your loot, um, with those defenses as well. Um, so again guys all around the base you can see different examples of all of that you can see my splash defenses being spread out you can see my air defenses being protected by other air defenses in the form of Teslas and Inferno Towers and things of that sort um, we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to my Town Hall 8 and I'm gonna address some of you lower level people but all of this guys again is just encompassing and all of these kinds of um, strategies and uh, fundamentals towards base building applied to every single kind of base uh, so we're going to jump on over to the Town Hall 8, and we will continue from there, all right? So hold on tight. All right, guys, so we are back. We are on our Town Hall 8 account, and again, I'm just going to review some of those fundamentals because at lower levels, you don't have uh, Expos. You don't have Inferno Towers. You don't have four Wizards. You only have three, things of that sort. So um, when it comes to lower levels and lower people, again, you just want to make sure that your base is best covered by all kinds of defenses. So as you can see on this base, I have three wizard towers, and they're triangulated um, around the things that I find most important. In this case, it is my dark elixir in the center of the base, and then my gold and my elixir. So you can see that I have all of those protected by uh, those wizard towers. So my wizard towers are protecting the thing that I find most important, which is my loot. Also, I have my mortars doing the same thing, and they are surrounded in the center of the base, um, protecting... Uh, the entire base practically because their range is so crazy um, but it's very important to keep your most important defenses towards the center so that they last a long time because the quicker your defenses go down the quicker your base goes down and the quicker the thing that you're trying to protect will be defeated um, so again we're gonna work our way around here and you guys are gonna see what I meant about point defenses so we've got an archer tower a cannon an archer tower a cannon uh, an archer tower, a cannon. We've got an extra cannon up here, an archer tower, and a cannon right there. So you can see that all the way around the base, I have archer towers and I have cannons. Um, and again, it's just important, guys, to pay attention to that when it comes to laying out your base, just making sure that the whole base is protected well and that it is covered. Another good thing to pay attention to, guys, is your wall placement. Anytime that you have a T-junction or a wall that goes like this, Wall breakers or troops can hit the middle one and get into two different sections. So you can see in my base design right here that I've got this area where this cannon is and I've got this area where this archer tower is and it's separated by these three walls because that's what wall breakers hit. They hit this one and they affect the two around it. So if a wall breaker hits this right here, uh, they're not going to get into that cannon section, which is exactly what I want to happen. Uh, and that's built all the way around the base, and it's the furthest thing out so that if somebody drops their wall breakers off, they're going to be in just a little bit of trouble. And then you can see throughout the rest of the base that there are um, open areas that can distract troops. So if someone drops off troops right here, they're not going to walk. No, I just got rid of a present. They're not going to walk towards... Uh, the walls or anything like that, they're going to walk in and around and be affected by those traps. Guys, so we've pretty much talked about all the defenses and their goals and how you want to protect defenses with defense, how you want to protect um, your loot with your splash damages and things of that sort. Um, let's go ahead and talk about traps. 
So traps are very, very important as well in this game, and knowing how to use them is really, really important, and you have to know what you're doing. So you have a couple of different kinds of a couple of different kinds of traps. You have um, the air bombs right here, which is the uh, red one, which does a splash AOE effect, um, but it doesn't seek; it just goes up and blows up. And then you also have um, where are those? <clears throat> then you also have the seeking air mines, which are right here, which are actually seek after the defenses. Next, you have giant bombs and you have little bombs. Both do pretty much the same thing. They explode when they're walked over. Um, and then lastly, you have spring traps uh, and you also have skeleton traps, which kind of go in the bomb uh, category or in the clan castle style of category. Um, my favorite is by far the spring trap, but you have to know how to use it in um, conjunction with the bomb. So you can see right here, I have spring traps and then the bomb guys because what you want to do is you want to get rid of the troops and then damage the rest of them because a bomb by itself isn't going to kill um, a troop unless it has low health so say you have giants walking through here they're not going to die from that giant bomb um, they're just going to get damaged and then if you had your spring traps they would get flung off and it'd be a waste of damage so what you want to make sure that you do is you get rid of the troops first and then you damage the rest of them. So anytime that you put spring traps around bombs, you want to make sure that the troops that are attacking you will get affected by the spring trap first and then by the bomb. So they're going to walk in here, they're going to get flung, and then they're going to take damage, then they're going to take more damage from this, and then they're going to take even more damage from that bomb. Um, and we do the same thing over here with these bombs, guys. Two sets of, uh, or two giant bombs next to each other, is some serious damage. It will take out a mass of hog riders, a mass of troops, no matter what it is. Um, <clears throat> so anytime you do get the chance to put two giant bombs next to each other, definitely do it because it plays a huge role um, in destroying the enemy attacking troops. Again, guys, you can see that I have the spring traps first, and then we have the bombs after that. So that is um, just another example of that. Um, how to use traps effectively. Guys, I hope that y'all have learned a lot in this video and I hope that y'all can put some of these things towards your designs as well. Again, make sure that you have uh, the entire base covered with um, each kind of defense. So you can see all around my base, I have the air defenses, I have the wizard towers, I have the mortars, um, and the whole base is covered by archer towers and cannons as well. So guys, I hope that y'all have learned a lot again and uh, make sure that y'all comment down below with any kinds of questions or anything like that. Leave a like on the video if you learned a lot. And as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace!